Hi there, it's Pam. Here's a fun uh, paint night for you. You're starting out with your canvas that has been painted with yellow and it's divided into ninths. Vertically and horizontally there are nine pieces, nine rectangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It just makes it a little easier to have some guidelines. Um, the first step is making um, three kind of fan shapes. I probably drew mine too dark, but um, kind of near three of the axes where the lines intersect for your, your guideline rectangles. So I picked three and I did peach marks roughly inside there. Um, it's In this process it's layering. It's better if you don't do things really solid and really dark. Um, but that's up to you and you can always like we can tune it up a bit at the very end right so I hope you enjoy it I'm just gonna go step by step here I'm probably not gonna talk a whole lot and just have fun in in the bottom piece here I'm going to define a jug so I'm going to use my lighter brown color That's not the lighter brown. Okay, this guy's the lighter brown. So I'm going to make the jug stay in this, which is rectangle number eight. Again, you don't have to worry that much if it's not um, perfect or anything like that. I'm going right down to the edge of the paper because that's what I feel like doing. You see how I don't care? That's typical. <laughs> so, I like the background showing a little bit. I like variety. I don't like it all filled in solid. It looks more rough and ready like this. I'll make three large leaves. So one of them is going to be up here. I don't want to completely go over my other stuff, but I don't want to baby it either. So I'm kind of living on the edge there. I might make a pattern. I might do whatever I feel like, as you should do. Okay. Hmm. I think that's going to look okay when we're done. Let's see how she goes. Okay, and then I'm going to put another one here. I don't care that much because I like variety. See how the leaf has a little bit of pizzazz to it. Now I'm going to make a large red circle, a medium red circle, and a small red circle. So the small red circle is going to be around the same size as those, that guy, right? So I need to make some kind of wow flower here. So that's why I picked red. Okay, so we're going to... talk that much. Am I talking too much? Where the peach marks are, we're going to put the same type of mark, but in a darker pink. So we have that overlapping thing going on, right? So we can kind of revive our, that area, right? And we're not exactly in the fan shape either. Hopefully I'm going to hide most of that dark, too dark of pencil that I made. But if I don't, oh well. Now what did I 
do next? <gasps> this is good. Okay, I took white paint and let me see if I still like this. It's supposed to be a cool white. Hmm, maybe I'll see if I like. Eh. I'll try this cool white because I don't know what it's going to look like. It's a bit of a bluish white. Reminds me of my old friend, eraser correction tape. So this is, the purples are the center. So I'm kind of making like those on all the purples. Oh, see, look at that. But that looks all right, right? I'm still gonna rinse it off, but I don't mind that. Okay. Um, so wherever you see purple, I'm thinking I might be doing a better job if I stop and blow dry it. But it's too much fun just painting, so I don't know if I can stop myself or not. I mean, I could always go over that later um, if I don't like it, right? I can take another shot of the white. So these aren't very exact. I could make them a little nicer. I don't mind how the colors are mingling either. Not really. Right? So, as long as I don't mind it, I'm going to keep going. But, see, I had to find all my little friends in there. All my little purple centers that I now want to add. So, you could also um, take nine sheets of copy paper, for example, and uh, tape them together at the back. And you could do this on a larger scale to hang in your front window, right? You make a really big one and put it up outside to cheer everyone up. I mean, put it up in your window is what I mean. You can use this idea to make a completely different picture too. Or use different colors. Do it however you want. It's a suspenseful moment. Even though I made this up. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to take dark brown. And we're going to... Where's the dark brown? There it is. We're going to make a diagonal kind of um, a stick. Going through a branch. My water's getting kind of dirty, but I'm having too much fun, so I'm probably just soldier on with the dirty water. Um, okay, so we're going to take, make a branch. So it can go through your foliage a bit, right? And come out the other side. And we can have another stick another dark brown stick coming out somewhere like this. But don't make it a complete X because that won't look good. Um, well, actually, you can do it if you want. It's just that it looks more pleasing to the eye to not have a complete X going through. But it doesn't matter. Whatever you do, you do. Um. you're gonna like this a lot okay what I do is I take dark green and I'm going to make seven delicate vines There's one. My sample, I, I kind of liked how I made it from coming out from the center. Out from the center. I don't know, that felt like easier to me. So 
don't worry if your vines aren't delicate. Sometimes mine are, sometimes they aren't. Um, so, you see I'm just making it look, so I've got three, I wanted to, or five. <laughs> okay, so I want to make seven of them. So, I might make another, where did one come from? Okay, put one closer to that. Okay. So, there, I've got those, those vines. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is make, out of the, okay, I wanna kinda dry my brush off at this point, and I'm gonna, it's not dry brushing, but just because my brush was getting too wet. Okay, so, I wanna take, make a nice leaf on the end of that tip. Make, make kind of a, if you want to, make kind of a pointy leaf. Um, and then, make some leaves come from here. Okay, well, I don't mind it. I don't know. Okay, so, you know, you're just making your leaves. Some people like them to be even on either side. Mine roughly line up, but not always. I sort of like this one overlapping the big leaf, but I've got to kind of step up my green there to make sure it shows up enough. Okay. Oh, okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's go like this. See, even if they don't quite hit the vine, like it looks natural, right? Oh, those leaves got kind of big. Oh, well, tomorrow's another day, right? don't mind it. Okay. Now I wanted to make small dark circles, dark brown circles in the red. I just want to make some kind of, they don't show up that much, but they add a little bit of something, something in there. Okay. So, do that. Okay, that's, I like that. Okay. Uh, okay, I like this. Okay. See what we have here? We have kind of a grayish, brownish, tannish. So, with this, I would like to make catkins. Or, as I know, I might make it into a pussy willow branch. So. I will put some of those in there. If I want them a little whiter, I'll make them a little whiter. I'll do whatever I want because it's my picture and you guys should do whatever you want to your picture too. Okay? Hmm. I don't mind it. But what's next? Okay, this is a really fun part. Add a color that's not in your picture already. So that color might be orange. Or it might be, in my case, I'm using blue. Yeah. I, you guys, I poured out way too much paint. Like, just ignore that. That's. I'll go put it on another canvas before I'm done here. I mean, after I'm done. Okay. So I'm taking a I'm adding a color that's not already on my canvas, and I want to make a different kind of flower. So I'm gonna make some kind of tulip thing, okay? So I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go like this, and where do I want the other one? Probably right here. Oh, look at what I did there. Okay, well, that still looks okay, right? Okay, so because in a bouquet, everything is gonna overlap. Anyway, okay. I also wanted to do some speckles, so if you have a stick or a end of a brush or anything you want, put some speckles in that color that we've added. You know. So now I'm close to the end of my picture. But I want to do touch-ups. So things like 
lines um, you know what I want some lines on the part of my jug so I'm gonna go put some lines here I'm gonna rough it up here a little bit my numbers that I've got in there. If it doesn't come off, oh well. Right? It doesn't matter. Um, this is just like a basic kind of technique that you can use to make a picture. I feel like I need to make my um, petals a little bit better. speckle it up a bit with some I might speckle it up a bit in the bouquet with the pink and and I might re-add in some purple because I've really diluted my purple so I don't know how I'm going to do that but I'll see what I can do here I'll just fix it a little bit where it makes sense to do it, and where it doesn't make sense to do it, I won't do it. Marker and do some stuff to it, because I would just take that risk, because I like to do things like that. But, my marker's full of stuff, so I probably would do some kind of... I'd probably do a little bit of stuff like this. And there you have it, people. This is just a technique to have fun with. It's not a, um, meant to be a perfect painting. Um, I might fix it up a little more. I might just tone up my, I might take a little bit of white and my kind of color here and do a little something to those. But other than that, I am fairly happy and I hope you had a great time. Thanks for watching. Always have fun. Good night.